Um, as far as uh, the t-shirts that you have, um, everyone has their book and you have the pens and everything, but the t-shirt itself, um, what I'm thinking that we can do is uh, we can wear it to the culture center. And um, if you guys want to wear the shirts, uh, you want to welcome also. It's a gift for everyone, so it's uh, not a direct thing. And if someone wants to hold on to it and wait for another day, that's all, also fine. Uh, it's just uh, trying to get one day where we can come into solidarity. And the culture center also, um, uh, that represent uh, where we can, uh, if you have school supplies or any financial donations since we don't have a designated school because the flight schedule changed and affect several hours of us spending time and doing something else, um, uh, which is the school that I wanted to work and reach out to, but uh, that won't happen. So we do it at the culture center. Um, and, and another thing too, uh, what we'll do at nighttime, we'll, we'll work out when we're going to organize ourselves for the next day. I did put a pre-organized schedule in the book itself but we can only do so much with that because I've never been here before and it's way ahead of time uh, even though we're going to follow the schedule as best as possible but if you see any adjustments that need, need to be made uh, we can make it and um, the next thing is uh, we have to come back to Kilimanjaro airport and I, and I have to also come back to get my drone because uh, my drone is uh, hijacked and for those who are bringing the drone to Tanzania don't make the same mistake I made make sure you get it registered with the uh, Tanzania um, Aviation Authority and it's something as an aviation expert I should know better so I'll take that blame for myself but uh, was it in your check luggage? Uh, yes it was in my check luggage and they scanned it so you know, they, they asked me and I was just honest with them you know, about the situation that's so that's why I didn't bring one yeah so um, we had cleared it yeah, so um, I'm, I'm going to still try to fill out the paperwork um, and get it, but regardless, um, we'll be able to bring it back. And uh, the goal was to use it in Zanzibar. And, uh, and talking about Zanzibar, I'm hoping everybody has swimwear for Zanzibar. If not, you have time to get your swimwear. Um, and, uh, snorkeling, diving, we have all kind of things arranged. But if you don't want to do anything, you can sip on a, sit, sit back, relax on a beach, enjoy some lobster, and, and sip on a nice tropical drink, and things like that. Um, but as far as... Um, the rest of the schedule, everything is just flexible. We'll come together. For the most part, I want us to go out to eat dinner every night and just order what we want. Uh, it's simpler that way. If we can't do that, we'll pre-order uh, dinner at the hotel. Uh, so what I want to know uh, before going into too many talking, I want to find out if anyone have any questions for um, myself, Molly, and Eugene so we can answer more questions and go to uh, anything that you want us to go to before we actually get to the hotel. So like, what is one of the biggest factors Uh, Deborah was asking about the, su uh, the suppression or oppression of girls. Yeah, like it's not. Can you talk loud and uh, can you talk uh, loud and explain it? Uh, it's not that bad here. We don't really suppress them, but the history shows that they were not given privilege to go to the schools before. If they go to the schools, they like end up with a basic education. But now the the, the government itself is pushing a lot of the girls to go to the higher learning institutions. So. Still in the villages, some of the parents will say, okay, you have done with standard seven, that's like elementary school. That's quite enough. Myself, I'm not happy. I feel like I've got a responsibility of doing something for girls because they deserve to. So you, you talk in elementary, and then we got high school, and then we got university. Yeah. So to demonstrate for them to, to, to set a goal to go for university, what's What's stopping that? So uh, now right, let's try to make sure we understand the question clear because you're, you're talking low. Um, you're saying what's stopping them from uh, university? Is that what your question is? Okay, oh, seems right. to be so uh, layered, right? Elementary, seventh grade, sixth grade, whatever. Yeah. And then we got ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, basically, and then yeah. we got university. Yeah. So those next two layers, what is the suppression? What is the culture? So for stop? some of those girls who live in the really remote areas. Papa will accept taking the cows. The father will accept taking the cows and the girl get married. That's one of the experience that we have in the villages. But the other thing is some of the families cannot afford taking them to school. That's the big problem. Yeah, there's no Pell Grants, there's no so, Pell yeah, so What can I do? So she gets pregnant, she stays in the village, that's the end of the life. Yeah, so that's where, so, um, and, and family, I, I'm trying to get some questions also about our tour, and, and hopefully that answers um, that, that question. Uh, I'm trying to get some questions about the tour and our schedule and the book and everything while we're here all together talking, especially in the next few days. Okay, 
Yes, uh, so let me just uh, explain it. Tomorrow, um, we'll get everybody up uh, about uh, 8 o'clock and uh, we can just have breakfast and then we need to all be ready to um, leave out about 9 o'clock. Um, that way, uh, Eugene and the guys will have a, a bus the latest about between 9 o'clock to 9.30. So breakfast is complimentary uh, at the hotel and then when we're traveling out, we'll get lunch. Um, we, tomorrow's a safari, so uh, we have to organize lunch. So uh, Eugene, you and Molly can explain our options for lunch tomorrow. Yeah, we basically look into vegetarian and non-vegetarian. Uh, how long? So, so far, who is expected of us to go to? Can, can, you, talk, can you talk louder? What is expected of us to go to? Alright, cool. Uh, if you can explain the process of the uh, safari, um, uh, 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 movements and everything. Uh, for safari, we will go with the bus. Uh, we don't have places that we'll get off the bus and go for walking. So we'll be in the bus, unless otherwise we get to areas where we are allowed to get out and take pictures and then get back to the bus. Uh, for lunch, we will take the lunch box with us because we don't have restaurants in the park. So we'll eat what we'll bring with us from our ship. Uh, for dress, you can put on, because it's not very hot, and actually for us it's not very cold, you can put in long sleeves, I mean a pullover. When it gets warm, you can take it off. It's better to have it instead of leaving it in the hotel, and when it's get, like it's raining and it's chilly out there, then you don't have what to, to put on. So it's better you bring your jacket with you, you putting in shorts is okay for shoes because we are not going for a uh, hiking you can put in zipper shoes or open shoes that can make you comfortable uh, it's not sunny and we don't have open roof you don't, you don't need a big hat but if you're used to you can you can bring one with you the important thing you need to for the safari is your camera and your binoculars yeah so that you can be able to see a small bird up on a tree you don't need a binocular for a giraffe because it won't be far away, but it depends on your eyesight. Um, in the park, we will uh, not have a lot of bugs, but you need a repellent just to make you comfortable. I'm not using any, and I'm, you'll see nothing will be disturbing. Uh, one thing I forgot to explain at the beginning is the use of the malaria pills, if you're using any. The pills that you take daily for your immunity you can take it it's very good for your safety it's good for as your doctors giving you the instruction but I will ask you not to take in an empty stomach so we can get malaria pills where uh, if you have any I'm, I'm just saying if you have any yeah these are things that you'd have to organize ahead of time to bring in work out ahead of time uh, is I'm just saying if you have any that you're taking do not take into an em empty stomach unless otherwise by the doctor's instruction because taking it to an em empty stomach your body will start digesting chemical before food and that can make you dizzy that can make you sick so take it after taking something you can eat a piece of bread you can take a banana and then take your medicine some of the medicine are recommended to be taken before meals but as I have seen for many clients who come from like Europe, they have been given malaroon prophylax for malaria and they have been told to eat or to take it before meals and really misbehave to them. That's why we uh, normally tell the people not to take it in an empty stomach. So for the safari, don't worry, you dress the way it's easy for you. What about uh, mosquitoes? During, during the duck time, when sundown is, we have mosquitoes, but luckily we don't have big problem with the malaria. It's still there, but it's not as bad as it used to be. So using repellent and the parts of your body that is exposed, it's very, it's highly recommended. Um, you can put on repellent when you're going out in the evening, and then before you go to sleep, you can wash it out. I cannot advise you to sleep with repellent because they will have mosquito net in your room. It's better for you to sleep without repellent. When you're awake, you can
can control your movements, your motion, emotion. But if you are sleeping, you may end up putting your hands that you have been using to spray repellent into your eyes and it can cause another problem. When we go to Dar es Salaam and Zanzibar, when you need to use uh, like sun cream, uh, use it. I don't know what percentage you're using. If it's going to be used frequently, then do not put a lot of it into your face because of the temperature, it may melt and get into your eyes and then you have a problem. If you want to do the spray for, in terms of repellent, do it outside the bus, not inside the bus. Because here, you, the air circulation is so limited, you need to, to do where you're out and you, when you do the spray, it not yeah. harms the people, the eyes and the inhaling. You inhale a lot of it when you do it inside the bus. So do it outside before we enter the park, but because we, we, are, we are in the bus, you'll not be in trouble with the bugs. Actually, in our country, they don't el eliminate them because we need them in the ecosystem. So we live with them. Yeah, yeah. I, I like uh, I like what the mosquitoes have done to you know uh, in Ghana. They've done a good job. Uh, they, 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 they West Africa used to be called the white man's grave because the mosquitoes used to tear them up. And so mosquitoes do serve purpose. You know? They're also a, a form of defense. Uh, but um, the good thing about us, um, uh, we're. You know, Skin in our body is uh, protection, but yeah, definitely uh, the mosquito net. I made sure that we had hotels with mosquito net, and if you don't have one, you can also request ones in the room. Uh, but uh, anyone else have any questions for us about the schedule, about anything that we're doing? And also, nightlife is every night, so if you don't want to go out, stay in a hotel, chill, relax, enjoy yourself. And if you're brave and bold and you want to roll with me, roll with me because I'm going out every night. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off childcare duty. Because usually it's me and my son. We're up uh, all, you know, up the, the whole week in the house working, and uh, usually by 7 p.m. The, the house is on lockdown, and we don't leave until, you know, we don't leave until 7 p.m. in the morning. Not saying that it's dangerous and anything, but it's a um, it's a mindset of staying just locked in on work, and then when it's time to play, you play. So um, we've been through all this Corona craziness all summer, and we finally got a chance to leave America. So. Um, I'm out every night um, socializing. It's nothing hardcore, folks. So folks who are watching this on something else, uh, it's just us going out socializing and networking. And then if it's anything a little bit XXX, um, we'll, you know, there will be no uh, recording. Of it. <laughs> so you know, uh, I definitely want everybody to enjoy yourself to the fullest. Uh, is it battery stop? Yep. Oh, battery.